Dr. Stephen Hawking had one of the greatest minds on this planet. Before his passing, the great theoretical physicist wrote about his fears of greenhouse gases and the effects they're going to have on our planet. Over the years, he made thought-provoking arguments about the probability of events that could spell disaster for the whole of humanity. By his calculations, Dr. Stephen Hawking stated it would only take as little as 100 years before humans would be unable to inhabit our planet Earth any further. The cause for such calculations he regarded were due to several factors that most people never took into consideration. Considering the fact that as temperatures have risen, this has caused water vapours from the oceans to form which in turn creates additional greenhouse effects. It's impossible to stop the effects of climate change regardless of how many emissions are cut unless every single emission is reduced by 100% and a technology capable of causing an artificial cooling is created. Given these factors alone, one would not be surprised in the slightest by Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions, but his doomsday fortune does not stop there. Not only does he cite global warming as an issue, but he also believed and argued that we have reason to fear other advancements as well. It's always worrying when great minds come out with these predictions. However, it does seem like the scientific community is doing their bit to battle this. The scientific community has come forward and said they think it's a good idea to spray chemicals into the sky to stop global warming. As you can imagine, this didn't go down well. This proposal is based on a new published scientific research, and it suggests we need to start spraying chemicals into the stratosphere. This aerosol injection is said to be able to reduce the global warming rate by as much as 50%. The way they will do this is by spraying high amounts of sulfate particles into the lower stratosphere. This will start at around 12 miles up. The technology, according to the scientists, currently doesn't exist to get the chemicals up there, but they say the technology is well within human capabilities. It's been said the researchers have settled upon an aircraft-based delivery system. The scientists said the following. Unlike the one prior comprehensive study on this topic, we conclude that no existing aircraft design, even with extensive modifications, can fulfill this mission. However, we also conclude that developing a new purpose-built high-altitude tanker would neither be difficult, nor expensive. Some have come forward and said this mission could have effects on our weather, and this could lead to bigger, unintended changes. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this mission? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.